Today I wanted to share with you my thoughts about weight reduction for our 7 inch long range drones. Well, at least uh, here in Italy we are grounded uh, due to the COVID situation, so while waiting uh, to make uh, some other long range tests uh, to put on my channel, I thought uh, that uh, this uh, would be a great, a great occasion uh, to talk about weight reduction uh, and I will go into some uh, specifics. Uh, keep it present that uh, most of my reasoning will apply to long range drone and not to freestyle or, or, or racing drones because uh, uh, mm, the problems uh, and uh, the uh, the aspects that you have to keep uh, to keep to keep present uh, to correctly evaluate uh, the needs the needings uh, are different okay so just remember long range uh, drones are not meant to crash or at least are not meant to crash very often and keep that in mind while evaluating uh, my next thoughts so the first thing I wanted to talk with you is uh, screws. So, mm, at least uh, in, uh, in my Chimera 7 inches frame, long range, there are uh, mm, about 50 screws. Now, uh, screws are not all the same. This is, uh, 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 for example, a standard 10 millimeter screw. And uh, as, uh, as you can see, the weight is roughly 0.6 grams. Now, uh, there are other types of uh, screws uh, which are not uh, made of steel uh, like those one, uh, but uh, in titanium. This is uh, the same screw, just in titanium. And as you can see, it weighs only 0 0.32, 0 0.33 grams. So that's uh, roughly half the weight of a steel uh, screw. Now, uh, what uh, I did uh, uh, with uh, my Chimera is replacing uh, all uh, 50 screws uh, of uh, the, um, replacing the stock ones uh, with uh, titanium ones uh, and that uh, allowed me for uh, a savings uh, of 15 to 20 grams uh, and, um, and this is something that uh, you want uh, to do. Uh, keep it present uh, that uh, titanium screws are not exactly cheap. Mm, you, they go roughly about one dollar each, so it's not the, the, the whole operation of replacing all 50 screws is not exactly a bargain, but uh, hey, 50 to 20 grams uh, is a nice thing. Aspect is uh, motor wires. Well, some of you may use uh, something like this. Okay, these are some uh, plastic tubes uh, that help protect the wires. Let's see how they weigh. 162 or you may use uh, some uh, sock wrapper like this one we're talking 120 now multiply those numbers by four and you will see that you have lots and lots of grams here but the question is always the same do we need it the answer for me is no a zip tie Okay, just one for motor will do the job in my case uh, and will help uh, me save uh, seven, eight grams, okay. which is good. Okay, next topic is the camera mount. This one is the stock camera mount carbon, carbon fiber, which comes with the Chimera 7 inch frame. Now, um, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice, it's a nice object, uh, but uh, it's quite massive. In fact, uh, if I check the weight, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's exactly 12 grams. Now, always keeping in mind that we are not talking about quads that are meant to crash, but uh, and uh, keeping it uh, in in mind. Uh, mm, as an alternative, you can do, as I did, two TPU side mounts, which have a total weight of five grams. And that's the final result on my Chimera. That's a full seven grams saved just by replacing the standard carbon fiber mount with those 
TPU mount. Now, uh, if you do not have a 3D printer, well, <laughs> let me give you another suggestion. Buy one, like <laughs> the one I have here, this is an Ender 5, because uh, you will really do a lot of useful things uh, with it, uh, and the learning curve uh, is not uh, is not uh, is not big, so uh, I really I suggest you do that. Speaking of uh, TPU mounts, uh, this one uh, is uh, is part of the stock uh, TPU mount to hold the receiver in your uh, in your camera frame. Let's uh, see the weight: one point three grams. Not the much, not that much. But uh, uh, the question is, uh, why do you have? Uh, do I have to do to use it? So, uh, as you can see, I put my Crossfire diversity receiver just uh, on uh, on the base of the Chimera frame uh, with uh, a simple bioadhesive strip, which wakes nothing, and that's uh, another couple of grams saved. Why not? Now let's talk about buzzer. So um, there are lots of fancy buzzers out there, uh, um, passive, uh, active, uh, with integrated battery, such uh, the one that I am showing you is a buzzer with an integrated uh, LiPo battery. And uh, uh, this one is a switch that uh, I made because I was tired of continuing to have to press uh, the button when uh, every time I turn uh, the power off. So this thing uh, is okay, it's a nice thing, uh, but uh, what's the weight of uh, this system? Let's check it out, let's check it out. 11 grams. Now, the consideration that I'm making is, I'm not making uh, um, any particular freestyle, freestyle maneuver in long range, uh, and um, the, the real possibility that my quad falls uh, is really is really low so i decided that i didn't need uh, an active buzzer with lipo integrated lipo like this one i could uh, i can get on with a simple buzzer like this uh, 3.6 grams with mount or uh, one gram without mount and just a zip tie and that uh, is another 10 grams uh, shaved now let's talk about uh, battery straps Usually with uh, your code uh, you get uh, by default uh, some battery straps, uh, fancy straps uh, like the uh, those uh, like those ones. Uh, look at the weight. Uh, that's uh, 10.6 grams. Uh, the question is, uh, do we really need uh, fancy straps uh, when uh, you can have uh, the same effect uh, of saving your battery in place uh, by using uh, straps like those one? Uh, those ones uh, which weigh uh, half uh, of that, uh, those are just uh, very simple straps, uh, no, no fanciness, uh, but they work uh, exactly like the stock ones, uh, only you can save uh, 5 to 7 uh, grams each uh, in total, and that is something that I absolutely suggest. This is uh, my Chimera that I used in my tests, and as you can see, I have uh, exactly those straps mounted and they work flawlessly okay let's talk about antennas this one 7.7 .7 grams is the true rc bar pole which is the one as you see here that i'm using as my primary antenna in my tbs diversity receiver um, before uh, making my adjustments i used another bar pole antenna this one in the front but uh, since uh, the problem with my long range flights uh, is not uh, the uh, the rc link uh, but is my battery or video signal, I replaced my uh, front uh, um, uh, bar pole antenna with the stock dipole antenna that comes with uh, your diversity receiver. And uh, uh, just to make a confrontation, bear with me in just a moment. This is uh, the stock uh, Immortal T antenna. That, let's see the weight 3.4, 
and uh, which is uh, three grams less uh, than the bar pole and uh, the uh, the stock dipole antenna weighs even less here it is 2.2.2.1 grams so my suggestion is uh, do not use the immortal t antenna use the bar pole the bar the 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 dipole one you will uh, save uh, a couple of grams uh, and you, re you really don't need the toughness of the immortal t which is made more for uh, easy of mount uh, and uh, resistance uh, to fall so uh, and uh, that save you some uh, some extra grams okay some other considerations i used to have my gps in the back of the frame but uh, uh, that uh, means uh, another TPU mount uh, which had uh, to be added uh, here in the bag. In the back, I just cut it and I put my GPS mount on top on my frame because I used battery on uh, on uh, on the um, just below the deck, not up. That uh, helped me save the couple grams of the TPU mount of the GPS uh, mod module. So, so, after all those operations, uh, how much weight uh, will I have saved? Well, w before starting uh, all uh, those operations, uh, the total weight uh, of uh, my drone without battery was exactly 622 grams. Let's see how we go now. Let's put this on the balance. 556 we're talking about 66 grams saved and that's a lot trust me i'm planning to do another video in the, in the next couple of days where i will show you my excel with all my battery tests and you will see that 60 grams less for something which weighs around one kilo so as our long range drones with battery is something that is really worth having it well before leaving uh, uh, you to, to the other two other thoughts uh, i want to show you uh, two other things that i'm going to do in the next future which will further help me to shave down uh, some grams and that is uh, uh, the first uh, is uh, the length of the power cable so i mean uh, as in my case uh, you can see that the xt xt60 connectors uh, is uh, out uh, from the back uh, but i was planning uh, to cut uh, it short and uh, make it so that uh, it comes directly from the eft to down the code here and uh, cutting about uh, 10 centimeter of wire and uh, if you are wondering how much weight uh, is 10 centimeter of power cable less well just see with me seven grams and a half that's a lot for 10 centimeters of cable less and that this is something that you really want to do and uh, will help you cut down uh, your weight for free well, last thought is about adapters. As you can see, if you have DJI unit like me, but uh, the same applies for analog video, you may have uh, some adapter, in my case uh, is uh, MMCX to SMA connectors, and then of course uh, you are using uh, SMA antennas uh, like uh, this one, TBS Triumph Pro. Well, but uh, if we get back, uh, to the balance board how much weight are we talking about what is the weight of uh, two connectors uh, like this one mm6 to sma let's see it five grams fi seven grams and five well it's a lot don't you think and add to that the weight of the antennas 13 grams we're talking 20 grams 20 grams in total with the two SMA antennas and the two SMA to MS MMCX connectors. Now, what is the weight of uh, a single 
antenna which is uh, directly an mm6 fit well it's about four grams three to four grams so two of them so is maximum eight grams and if you manage to connect directly two mm6 antennas to, the, to your quad without having to use the uh, SME to MM6 adapters, you're going to save uh, roughly 12 grams of weight and uh, you're going to have uh, a, a better signal because uh, you wouldn't have uh, the signal loss uh, which is inevitable when you use an adapter. Think about it and see you next video.